welcome back. Today I thought it'd be fun to play dress up in my wardrobe and try on a bunch of different spring outfits for things that I'm actually going to be wearing this season. <laughs> I planned some outfits yesterday. I think I've got about 25 outfits to get through, which is kind of a lot. I went on my Pinterest, you can follow me on there, at Susie Lola, to get a bunch of inspo. I also did have a look on my Instagram and my saves, as I often like save people's outfits for inspo. You can follow me on there, at Susie Garvey as well. Subscribe down below as well if you haven't already, it would mean a lot. We're gonna get into it. I think I know what I wanna start on. First outfit is of course featuring my new jacket. I showed this in my spring haul and same with this skirt actually. I don't know if it's gonna be everyone's cup of tea because of the boots. I'm wearing my Miss 60 vintage boxing boots and my matching little grey bag which is vintage. I love this. Also I will say I have fresh hair and if my hair looks bad it's because she does not want to play like she does nothing but it's fresh so I have to like put it back and even that looks terrible so we're just gonna ignore that but this is outfit number one and I think it's really cute. This skirt to me is just very spring and I love this jacket. I think I want to try different outfits with both of these pieces but I think the boxing boots they've had their moment and now I'm gonna take them off. Outfit number two, one of my favourites. This is a festival outfit to me as well. I think I will be putting in my festival lookbook. The shoes are my new camper flats. The green, the blue hues in the outfit. Like I literally just love this outfit. The top is from Meow. I love this corset. It's one of my prized possessions now. The skirt is Topshop, vintage Topshop. And the tool well is vintage Cara Croa. I love all of the khaki colors throughout the outfit. I love how the skirt falls. I just think it's so good. Like this to me is lovely. I love it. Jack Jacket. You have to bear with me with jackets because I feel like I'm not good on jackets right now. I'm kind of in this weird thing where I'm selling most of my jackets on Depop and I'm trying to find new ones. My jackets are a bit all over the place so you have to use your imagination but I do have an idea for when I just want like a layer over this. Chloe, she wore this grey two-piece outfit. This outfit has had me in a chokehold. It immediately inspired me to pair the similar flowy skirt with a jumper like this. I'm going to change to my other hair clip. This one's from Riffa. It's a little bit more put together than my plastic orange one. I just love this. I think this is great. Again, one of my favourite outfits that I've made in a while. I don't even want to take it off. This outfit feels really simple, so it's good for like a casual day. The top is new. I got it from Uniqlo. I love it. It's the perfect thickness. And I have a top that's really similar to this that I'll wear later on in the video, but it's got a print on it. And sometimes it's nice just to have a plain long sleeve. It's got that kind of like vintage kids large like weight to it. And I just like love the fit of it. I think it's perfect. The skirt is vintage. It's from Vivian's Vintage, my friend's vintage brand. And I love this like massive folded over waistband. And boots, G Star, found them off a of vintage. These are my go to boots this season. I love how they are like slimming, but they also kind of fall a bit in ruche, if you know what I mean. They're kind of like a slouchy boot, which is fun, and the color goes with everything. I want to play around with this on top. This is a cardigan that I DIY'd. I literally just fabric dyed it, that's all I did. Oh, and I changed the buttons to be fair, so I guess I did have a part to play in this. Kind of like the idea of wearing it just the first two buttons done up. Is that good? great outfit. I worry if I keep saying like, oh, this is a really good outfit. I love this. This is so good. Blah, blah, blah. And people are watching this like, this is the fugliest thing I've ever seen. Then I'm like, oh, it's my opinion. This is my bag, like the bag. I have a what's in my bag video up. Again, like the color, the color scheme, she's working. I already sort of wore this outfit on my Instagram, but with a different skirt. I thought this skirt was a bit more wearable. It's from Vivi Way, Vivian's brand. It's like a wrap bubble style little mini skirt, perfect for spring. First outfit with the welly boots. You already know the welly boots are gonna be in a few outfits. I love wearing them, especially if this weird spring weather here in England, it rains. Like, literally in London, rain, sun, rain, sun throughout a course of an hour. Like it's ridiculous. So these are very handy. They're from Hunter. I love the way they look with the mini skirt. This is vintage Armani. I got it from Rags Redone. I would pair a black leather bomber jacket with it. My black leather bomber jacket, she is currently out of action. Something happened to her. She has a medical emergency right now and I'm in the middle of like cleaning, upcycling it, transforming it to try and save it. Let's not even go there. It's literally been the stress of my life since December. I 
life in dealing with this issue. I'm hoping that the jacket's going to be up and running as soon as possible because I'll go to New York in like two weeks and I'm gagging to bring it with me to New York. So fingers crossed I get it all done. Why am I going on a tangent? No one cares. For the meantime, my go-to jacket this spring has been this wool coat. It's vintage. I'll put the brand, what is it? Austin Reed. I'm really loving the khaki at the moment. Again, back with the same flats. I think they look so good with long skirts like this. Oh, this skirt is incredible. It's like an upcycled kilt. It's from Veils of Cirrus and I found it from Ulta Store in London. Top is from Fruity Booty, just really slouchy. My toxic tray is putting on a chunky belt or a chunky tool belt on every outfit thinking that it's necessary. I just love wearing these because they take away the fact you have to worry about a bag and having it on your shoulder and the annoyance of that. Everything you need is on you. It's just like the best. I'm running to a picnic. I'm running to do an errand like your hands free. It's great. I've realized I've got way more like darker toned outfits than I thought I would. I really like this. I feel like it's sleek. It's fun. The really interesting like track jacket is from Cash Cash, a vintage brand. I love the kind of like curved button shape we've got going on. I've tied the neckline. You think it's a hood. It's sadly not. I wish it was a hood. The skirt is amazing. I found out a car boot. It's vintage Tommy Hilfiger. The boots are my ankle welly boots from Hunter. The ones with the buckle. Look how fun are they? I think this is good. I think it would definitely go with my bag as well. Spring is here, which means capris are back. And I've got on my Adidas weird little sporty capris. Super neon, Jesus, I forget how neon these are. I like this outfit, I think it's fun. Again, I imagine like errands, running for a coffee. The green flats are back, of course they are. You can actually ruche these, make them like a bit more bunched up like on the leg, but I kind of like the way that they look a bit more like weird cropped trousers, I don't know. We've got on my Intimus Me navy long sleeve to match the navy and the trousers. I really like this, I feel like it's again just really simple. And I finally have a jacket, I think we've worked for this. This is a jacket I don't think I'm ever gonna get rid of. I was gonna sell it because I thought it was too big on me. I wore it this one day and like the amount of compliments I got was actually like unfathomable. And then I was like, I can't get rid of this coat. Like I've got to keep it. It's, it's all navy, like an all navy outfit. <laughs> Lol, the shoes, they look kind of funny. What do I think of this? Still my favorite, but these are so hard to style and I feel like for these trousers, this is actually a pretty good, simple, wearable outfit. This is another winner in my opinion. This is like my go-to, I don't know what to wear, kind of like chill but comfy outfit. This is the top that inspired me to get that Uniqlo one. It's vintage, it's a monster brand tee. Guys, I think I've had monster like once in my life. Fake fan, but I just love this top. I thought it was funny and the fit of it, it's just everything. I found it when I went vintage sourcing when I used to work for a vintage brand. I did a massive haul of everything I got and I was like literally in like the warehouses, going through the bins it was like an amazing experience and I found this top and I was like I need this in my life I need it and I think it cost like three euros baggy jeans are from Carhartt I love the way that they like perfectly fall together these jeans are everything I actually recently got them tailored because they are so long and I like to wear them like like literally have you seen this crotch like they are just huge I think they're a waist 32 by 32 and I obviously had to go with green flats like the green and the green you know what I'm about to say Ideally, I would put this through the belt loops because I think that would look the best, but I'm not about to do that because we have outfits to get through. Well, yes. Like, I think this looks absolutely brilliant. I love the coordination we've got going on. Normally, I'm not good with coordination, but I feel like now I have all pieces that are the same colour. It's it makes me very happy. This to me is very spring vibes. We've changed the shoes to these red flats. They're from Charles and Keith. They do give me horrific blisters, but they're great. This skirt is gorgeous. It's originally from Reese. I found it from a charity shop. Believe it or not, I did actually steam this yesterday and now it's just a creased mess. So you have to ignore that. I do actually have all of these buttons on my cami top and I can't be bothered to take them off right now. So just ignoring that the buttons are all of there. Layered it underneath this pointel top. This is from Nia high it's a sample of theirs and then this burberry wrap top i can do it up which okay i feel like it looks better like this that's cute but i also do kind of like it like a cardi and then you could have some necklaces on show she's so wholesome and i love it this outfit is top five for sure i made this outfit last night and it's kind of like i've never worn these things together and this belt is new and it's just one of those things where like i made the outfit and then i was like prepare to be sick of me i want to wear this all the time i completely copied this outfit from paloma she was wearing 
wearing this outfit on her Instagram. I've had it saved for a really long time and I was going back for this video and I was like, hmm. The zip up is from Racer Worldwide. Probably my favorite piece of theirs ever. The knit is just so lovely. It's so comfortable. And then the belt is new. I got this from Vival Studios. It's a vintage diesel belt. It came yesterday. I have never smelt, seen or touched a more musty belt in my life. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do to get this belt ready. Cause it's actually vile. Like my hands stink now after touching it. It's gross. I do actually have leather cleaner. So I feel like that might be my option. I bought it in mind for festival season. I've got so many outfits that I think it would work over. And now that I've realized it complements this skirt so well and like with the matching boots, it's just a winner. It is a winner. The skirt is the same one. The boots are Diemble. My favorite boots. Like these get so much wear. I highly recommend Diemble for boots. I get loads of questions on these and they're just like so good. You can also dangle because it's got this thing which actually probably convinced me to buy the belt so you can dangle things. I've got like my Miffy, <laughs> my Miffy charm. I've got this carabiner from Aries. I think that's so fun. I love this. A belt with a D-ring detail. Are you kidding? kidding me like this is literally like a festival belt and i'm so excited i do think my bag would work well with it for obvious reasons like this is just such a good like i want to wear this this week like, i want to wear it now i want to wear it right now i wore this outfit last week and i knew i wanted to put it in this video like it's just so simple but fun the whole outfit is sort of based around this cami top i put all these buttons on it it's from Gigi. i put her name on screen and i put all of my badges and buttons on it i feel like i've just been really inspired to do that at the moment i spoke about my love for badges and just seeing so many people especially asia rama she keeps putting them on like trousers and shorts and like the big ones next to the small ones and I was like I need to like do this. The skirt is from Peachy Den. Shoes are the same hunter buckle ones. This zip up is still a bit wet because I just pulled it out the wash. Okay she hasn't got the movement and like the slouch that she would if she wasn't as like fresh but I was kind of wearing it a bit like off the shoulder. I wore this out for dinner with my family the other day and I keep wearing this outfit. It's a really good go-to two-piece. It kind of looks like a dress almost. Both of the pieces are from Peachy Den. I think they work really 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 well together i love this top really good for more of like an evening smart occasion i know i'm wearing like black and brown i don't really care tell me if that's if it looks weird like does it look weird i just love this coat and i feel like even spring evenings you can wear a thick coat like this like it's never gonna be summer vibes like every day so i just love this coat like she's so big and sassy she's from jackie like i sometimes forget how big she is and i catch myself in the mirror and i'm like tiny head massive coat identity crisis i look like a bear oh my god i think she's good i like this outfit a lot okay am i crazy my melissa heels my jelly heels they still smell of those like rubbery fruit balls you get in like the seaside in england and it actually is the best nostalgia like love it we can throw on a pair of trainers and it's whatever but i really like it with the heels even though i know they're not everyone's cup of tea and it's fine like if you hate the heels fine by me same jumper this is from cash cash from cara croa the jeans are aries men's baggy again i got them tailored i took a bunch of my trousers to get tailored and my shoes are obviously the melissa x y project collab crazy cinderella jelly shoes and i love them for a coat i'm gonna try basically my two coats you know what i don't hate this this is giving casual this is giving oh i'm going to like a nice pub or like out for dinner, I wanna look like I tried, no, that I didn't try hard. And it's like, oh, oh. See, this is where I need a black trench coat. I know we've literally got like brown, gray, black, navy. Like it's a lot, it's a lot for the eyes. But I feel like at night in like a dark bar, you just like roll up in a trench coat with the heels and the jeans. Like, I just like it. I'm gonna have a sweet to keep me going because it's lunchtime and I'm hungry. These are my new favorite sweets. They're candy kittens. They're good because they're vegan and I feel like you can't get many sweets that aren't gelatin. So good. I don't want to stop most of the outfits by saying I love this outfit because that's really annoying but I do really like this outfit. These boots just work so well with everything. The G-Star boots, like I love the way they fall. I think it's so flattering. I love these two pieces together. This is vintage cash cash. It's like a mini dress slash tunic top and it's from fruity finds the skirt underneath is from shop cone corner park very cute i love the way that you still see like the print and then also the lace this jumper 
it's got this buckle high strap thing going on. I really, really like the way that this all looks together. I love all of the different tones, but I feel like they all kind of go together and I really like this panel. I think it's really fun and I love it and I just, mm. I love a little knit like this where you just feel cozy. This bag actually goes with everything. Great. Hold on, would this bag work better? Cause it's like cream. I don't know, maybe I prefer this one. This outfit is such a summer winner for me. I wore the top and the skirt together so much last summer. This top is everything. It's vintage Dolce & Gabbana. It's from Rags Redone. It's probably my prized possession. Like I just love this top so much. This skirt is a vintage French brand. I found it at a charity shop. This belt is new. I found it on Vinted. It's unbranded. I've got no idea where it's from. I think this is also a really good festival outfit. <laughs> I think this cream bag works really well. Then we've got the G-Star boots because they go with everything. I want to try this as the jacket. I think a jacket like this would work really well. Yeah, I like this. What do we think of this? Kind of fun to try and style these like suit short capri things. I found them from Cara Croa, they're vintage. I've got them with my G-Stars. I know it's kind of weird that they're like just that little slither of skin on show, but I kind of like the way that looks. I think it would definitely work with some flats. This layering top situation, I was inspired by my friend Shelly. She styled her off planet earth top with like the cami top underneath, I think. I've purposefully done this lace bra where you can like see it pop out and I feel like it looks it looks good. I really like the layeredness that that gives. Let's try it with some flats. I also like this. I think it looks good. I feel like this is how most people online are wearing their like shorts like this with little flats or kitten heels. I do love it with a tool belt. I don't think it needs the tool belt, but I do really like it with it. I just love all of the navy colors and like the red shoes match really nice with the Vivian red patch. This top is really cool. It's like a cow neck almost. It's like all gathered and it's just fun. I feel like this is a really good elevated trackies chill outfit like running errands these trousers are just everything i love them and i gravitate towards them so much i may be in my shirt era i have so many shirts now i think i've got five and i'm really trying to make the most out of them now that it's getting warmer i feel like they really thrive in spring and summer i've got a couple other shirt outfits i'll show you at the very end this is my realization par shirt and i was kind of like oh gosh like how am i gonna style this i've got like a good outfit in mind here these blue Carhartt jeans. When I was at the Aerie store, and I have like an Aerie shirt that I'm gonna wear later on. One of the workers, Laura, was wearing that shirt with jeans just like this, and it convinced me to pick the shirt, and I had this whole vision in mind, and I feel like the blue shirt and the blue baggy jeans, it's just a winner. I like the green shoes, I think it's fun. I'm loving my big fat Pringle bag. This is the most handy bag, and you, you might be like, this is too big. Like, what would you need to put in there? The day that I used this most was when I had an outfit change. So I had like the spare clothes in here. This bag is just great. And um, I've got my like labels in there from my like intro and stuff. I had to buy a pack. I don't even know, maybe like 25, 50 of them or something. And I have like loads of labels now. So I just put it in the, the name tag. You may be thinking, why don't you put on the red shoes with the red bag? but no. I wanted to layer the shirt underneath a trench coat. This trench coat is from Depop. I feel like it's actually a really good trench coat. I love the way you can see the sleeves. Like that's really fun. So if it was like all, oh, yeah, if it was like all done up and you just had the collar. Oh, I love that. I think that's so fun. And like the green shoes to match the coat. It's really relaxed and simple, but cause it's a shirt, it automatically looks like you put in more effort than you actually did. This one feels kind of random, but I feel like it's just simple but effective. My favourite suit trousers from Peachy Den. Can you believe it? This is the first outfit I've worn trainers with and I literally wear trainers every day of my life. This top underneath is from Cara Croa. This is super old H&M, probably like 10 years old, that I upcycled in, oh my god, it's in a video. Like I think it's in one of my first DIY videos. It's like this super crop, but I actually really like the way that it all looks together. The way that I thought we could change this outfit, and I guess this kind of becomes its own outfit, is through my yellow page navy jacket. Should we try the navy trench over the top? Something I love with wearing trench coats is when I wear like high neck track jackets. Something about that to me is so flattering. Like I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like, hey girl, hey. I just really like it and I love like the big zip. I think I have like three different versions of this outfit. Starting super simple. I really like these together. Back for another navy moment. I love 
navy. This jacket is Y3, I found it off of Vinted. It's basically like a top and it's got the hood. I just love this jacket. Prized possession. Peachy and trousers again. I can't decide on which shoe. Both are Pumas. I found these at a charity shop. They're an old Ferrari collab and then these are new. They're speed cats, I think they are. I got sent them. They're basically taking back like the old vintage shoe and like bringing it back if you know what I mean and it's so similar to this one. Oh, I do love the red. <laughs> I prefer the red. It's also got this little Puma logo on the front, which is so cute. And you're looking down at your shoes and it's like, he's jumping towards you. Then the other version of this, it's with my bubble denim mini skirt. This is from Off Planet Earth. I kind of like it. I feel like if you like skirts over trousers, you would you would probably like these two together. I feel like you can't not. Like all of the colours. Like it's just a fun combination of stuff. And I love it. But I'm going to try these two together without the trousers and some boots. This is probably another festival outfit. I think it's really, really fun. I love the way they look together. I feel like it's very like jester, clown vibes. Oh, it's kind of like clown buttons. Love it. With the boots. Boots, the rain boots from Hunter. Let's try it with my trench. Again, the neckline, like I love the way it's like a high neck, but it's also a hood. Like, are you joking me? You know what? It's making me actually wanna bring a trench coat to a festival this summer. That might actually be the moment. We're down to the last two outfits. Both of them are gonna feature this shirt. So I wanna play around with it. This is the shirt I was talking about, the Aries one. Skirts from Peachy, same brown buckle boots. I like this one at home, but I wanna style this Aries jumper over the top of it. I've been kind of inspired by layering shirts for different things by the Moa. I used to say Moa Lola, but it's not that. Okay, my dyslexia is coming up, but you know that brand. From their recent runway, they had some amazing layers shirts and it was really inspiring me and I feel like this is gonna work I really like this I don't think it looks too boxy as well I also think this would work really well on its own with this skirt like with none shirt on show like that's just simple cool I want to try it in a different way this is starting to look really similar to the realization past shirt outfit so I don't want to repeat kept the same boots. I kind of like the way that the rounded chunky boots look with these jeans. I do like it on its own, but I want to try it with the trench. I really liked how the Realization Par shirt was like over the trench of the other one. I'm gonna try and do that again with this, but this is so big. Oh my God, why with the open is it giving pimp? I need a blue bag, that's what I need. Mm, I think this is more neutral. Okay, that, look how sad that bag. Ew. This is my Paul Frank bowling bag. She's so fun when she's like properly full. It's really simple but fun and I just love it. I feel like we've ended on a good note. My hair looks frazzled. I'm so hungry. I'm about to go eat my lunch. But I'm actually sad that I've got no more outfits in mind because I had so much fun making this video. I cannot wait to do my festival lookbook. This has put like a fire inside of me to have fun doing that video. So you can subscribe down below. Turn your notifications on so you know when that video gets uploaded very, very soon. Thank you all for watching. Follow me on my social media. Hope you have the best week and I will see you soon.